Hello dear student, I am Anna Tiwari from DPS Aldani Lama Chor. Welcome you in today's video. Today we are going to start question number 5 of exercise 7.4. So let us start today's question. What is given to you in question number 5? A 10th class students were given a farming land. So this is the farming land. It is given to you. I will read the question. A 10th class students of a secondary school in a Krishinagar has been allotted a rectangular Plot. So, this plot is called to 10th class ke students. Ko. So, for their gardening activity, sapling or mohar trees are planted on boundaries at a distance 1 meter each. So, here we have trees ke sapling, beach, yahan par hume plant ki hai. So, here we have trees hai at the boundary. And at a distance 1 meter each, the distance between two saplings are 1 meter okay it is given to you that means 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter and here also the distance between two trees are 1 meter so now what is given there is a triangular grassy land in a plot as shown in figure 7.14 this is the figure and there is a triangular grassy land means inside this there is a grass okay so this is grassy land the students are to show seeds flowering plants or the remaining area of the Plot. The students ko kya karna hai? They have to show seeds. Means these seeds show karne hai on the remaining area of the plot of flowering plants. So now the first part what is given to you? The first part, what is the first part? Look at here. Taking A as a origin. Where is A? This. Taking A as a origin. Find the coordinate of a vertices of a triangle. So ye jo triangle hai, iske vertices find karna. Okay, so we have to find the vertices of the triangle. So let us see what is the vertices of Q point. So what is Q point vertices? Just calculate from here. 1, 2, 3. It is 3 and from here 1, 2. Just draw perpendicular. So as you have done in 9th class also and here also we are doing. The coordinate of this is 3, 2. So now find the coordinate of point P. So let us see 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we draw the perpendicular, this is 4. And what is the y-axis? Draw a perpendicular till here. So this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 6. Same with this point, R point. So this is 6. Draw a perpendicular from here. So first x-axis is 6. And what is the y-axis? Draw a perpendicular till here. So, what we will get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 6, 5. So, this is your first part. Okay. So, we got the uh, vertices of the triangle. So, how you will write? You will write here vertices of a triangle taking A as a reason. So, now first of P point so what you will get 4 comma 6 okay and then Q point you got 3 comma 2 and the R point you got 6 comma 5 okay so this was the first part of your question now let us start the second part of your question what will be the coordinates of our vertices PQR again they are asking the coordinates of vertices PQR but in this case Taking C as our reason. So you have to take C point as our reason. So if you have to find where is C point. C point is here. This corner. So you have to just calculate what will be the coordinate from here. So what you have to do? You have to count from here. See. Very first let me see this point I am just seeing. 1, 2, 3, 4. See this one. This you take x axis and this you can take y axis. Okay. This is 0. So it can be reversed. Is kolta karke dekh lo. Or you can be. Say you can see like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the coordinate x axis is 12. Okay. Then see the y axis. Y coordinate. This is 2. If you draw the perpendicular. This will come 2. So sometimes it happens in your board examination. The figure is given to you. But exactly doesn't come at 2. Maybe the vertex comes at here, here, means at this point, this point, but you have to take the approximate value. That means you have to take either 1, either 2, to which it is more closer. Okay? So now you can take point Q now. This is 12. Now 13. 
13 comma this point so count from upside 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this will be 13 comma 6 now this point let's count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 10 comma now this point you will see 3 so this is 10 comma 3 so these are your three coordinates you will write same like this here what will be the second part coordinates of P is 12 comma 2 what will be the coordinates of Q 13 comma 6 and the coordinate of RR 10 comma 3 so this was your second part so let us start with the third part what is your third part one more okay in second part only it is given to you also calculate the area of a triangle in these cases what do you observe so in no cases we have area of triangle observe karna hai, okay so you have to find the area of triangle so we have done in previous uh, um, video also what will the formula of area of triangle so what is the formula of area of the triangle again i am writing for you there is a method of learning also area of triangle is equals to half times what you write x1 and inside the bracket y minus y then plus x2 inside the bracket y minus y then plus x3 inside the bracket y minus y so this is bracket close this is the area of the triangle i told you write in sequence after one two three two three one three two one so what is the area of the triangle half x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y2 minus y1 so just put the coordinate of this first time i'm putting the coordinates when we are taking a as a origin the second time i'll calculate the area when we will take c as a origin okay so let us start when a is a origin okay so taking a as a origin so now coordinate of point p what is point p 4 comma 6 coordinate of point q here i have written 3 comma 2 and coordinate of point r is 6 comma 5 already we have calculated this now we will substitute these value in this one what is this x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so let us substitute the value in this triangle so let us substitute so let us substitute the value what is the area of triangle so therefore area of triangle is half times x1 what is x1 4 y2 2 minus 5 plus x2 3 y3 three minus y1 5 minus 6 plus x3 what is x3 6 y2 minus y1 uh, or you can write y1 minus y2 so this we can write 3 by 2 so then 6 minus 2 so this we have substituted the value now we can calculate this let us calculate half times so therefore area of triangle is equals to half times 4 into what is inside the bracket plus minus minus 5 minus 2 is minus 3 plus 3 into minus 1 plus 6 into 4 plus 4 so now calculate this half times this is minus 12 minus 3 plus 24 so we will get half times solve this minus 1 very first minus minus plus minus 15 plus 24 so what you will get 1 by 2 so 5 9 so you will get 9 so what is the value 9 upon 2 so area of this triangle comes 9 upon 2 what will be the unit now already it is given to you the distance between two sapling is 1 meter so we will take the unit meter so area of a triangle is meter square 
Similarly, we can just put the coordinate when we take O as a origin. So we will take these coordinates, the value should come same. It should come 9 upon 2. Why? Because the triangle is same. You are not taking different triangle, you are taking this triangle. So this triangle, whether we are taking from this side, this side, this side, any side we will calculate, the area will always come the same. Okay. So let us just calculate this one. So I am substituting the second coordinate in the same equation. Let us calculate and you will just write the formula again. Okay. And for calculation, please take out your rough notebooks. No need to do the calculator, calculation on the same page. Again, I am writing again when C is a origin. Okay. So now what is the coordinate of P? The coordinate of P are 12,2. Coordinate of Q are 13,6. And the coordinate of R are 10,3. Okay, so let us substitute the value. Therefore, area of triangle is equals to half times. Directly, I am putting the value and you should also learn the formula. What is the first one? X1, 6 minus 3 plus X2, 3 minus 2 plus X3, 2 minus 6. Okay, so in the same, you can see, you can match with the formula also. So now 1 by 2, just calculate it, 12 into 3, plus 13 into 1, plus 10 into minus 4. Calculate this, 1 by 2, 36, plus 13, minus 40. So it will come 1 by 2, 49, minus 40. So... What is the answer? 9 upon 2 meter square. So you can see if you are taking A as a reason, the value is same. If you are taking C as a reason, the value is same. So this was your question number 5. It is very easy. Only the calculation is there. And this exercise again I am telling you is very important for the point of view of your board examination. Exactly means sometimes three or four questions are very important from these exercise please so don't leave this exercise so now we will start the next question in next video so for this video this much is enough do like and share the video right now thank you bye bye